Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Blank card tricks. What? Yes, blank card tricks. They're, they're everywhere. I'm telling you they're everywhere. This is like the season of, of blank card tricks or blank deck tricks at Magic Orthodoxy. I, you know, I've said this already. They've, they've come across my desk more lately than any other time. And then just a week ago, uh, I did my top seven, right? I did my top seven tricks involving blank cards. No sooner did I do that <laughs> than Kyle Purnell reaches out to me and says, hey, I have a blank deck trick. <laughs> I'm like, awesome. <laughs> but come on, you can't say no to Kyle Purnell, right? You can't say no to this face. Can't, can't. Uh, he's my favorite... Uh, he's my favorite speech teacher slash magician. He just is. He just is. Um, told you many a time that uh, last trip to Magi Fest, uh, Kyle stopped over and sat down at my table and uh, he jammed, showed me some tricks, which was awesome. He was a great guy. And then I heard, I heard through the grapevine from you guys, from you, that um, Kyle was on stage at Magi Fest this year and I got a shout out from Kyle Purnell. I did not, I did not ask him to do that. Did not pay him to do that. He's just a super sweet guy. So um, this is blank inside, blank inside from Kyle Purnell. Let me tell you how it goes. Um, you pull out a deck, okay? Shuffle it all up, mix it. And then uh, you start dealing the cards out onto the table into a couple of piles. And then uh, you just ask your spectator to name a uh, Name a, name a low two-digit number, okay? Let's say they say uh, 23, okay? So, all right, 23. And so that is the amount of seconds I have to find the five greatest cards in this deck. And they're like, what? And you say, all right, you're gonna count. Ready? Get my fingers ready. And then boom, 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 boom. You start going through the deck and they're counting it out from one to 23 loudly. And by the end you stop and there's five face down cards. And then you say, I'm sure you would love to know what makes these five cards so special. And they say, yes. And you flip them over and they're just number cards. They're just regular number spot cards. It's not a Royal flush, not the four aces. It's not even a, it's not even a, a regular flush. They're not even all the same suit. They're just all randos. And you're like, you're probably wondering why these are the best cards in the deck. And they say, yes. See, because you, you said 23. And if you add up all the pips, the pips add up to 23. So it's amazing that those are the ones I picked. But what's even more amazing, you roll the deck over and the entire deck is blank. You picked the only cards in the entire deck that add up to that person's number. And they were the only cards that were printed in the deck anyway. Oh, and by the way, this is done with a standard blank deck. Let's talk about it. Blank inside, Kyle Purnell, Vanishing Ink, 18 bucks, $18. It's a download. It is a download, you get nothing. So, you get nothing, yeah. So, I hope, hopefully you have your own blank deck. So, additional purchases, yes. You'll need a blank deck, and you'll need a handful of reveal cards, okay? A handful. And just make sure that they have the same back, right? <laughs> same back design and a tuck case, and you're good. You probably have all of those things in your house now. Um, Kyle's video is 19 minutes, okay? But you're also gonna get a 12 page PDF, so that's nice. I think those of us that still appreciate the printed word will appreciate his PDF. And his PDF has uh, black and white pictures, full explanation all the way through. If you watch the video one time through, you can always go back to the PDF for reference. Um, overall quality and production value, it's Vanishing Ink, so it's great. Uh, Kyle's in kind of a black studio with a black wall behind him, black table. You get some close-ups of just like waist-high shot, and then you get some close-up just of his hands and the cards. As far as what they teach you, you get a live performance. Uh, the live performance looks like it was taken at Magi Fest because uh, the guy he's doing the trick for is Josh Janowski. Uh, you got some setup there. And of course, like I said, you will need a blank faced deck and uh, you're gonna need your cards, your reveal cards, right? Your prediction cards. He walks you through the setup. 
and then he's gonna teach you how to do the trick presentation-wise very slowly, very slowly. It gives you all the ins and outs. Then he'll give you a second recap, uh, walk through the trick a little bit faster, and he'll pick a different prediction number that time so that you can see what it would be like uh, to do a different number and uh, some tips. And especially he'll give you some tips, let's say, if you don't have a blank faced deck. Like, could you do this if you didn't have blank cards? Absolutely, absolutely. Pocket space, it's a full deck, full deck of cards, nothing added, nothing taken away, okay? And uh, angles-wise, there's no angles. No angles, okay? And inspectability, there's nothing to find because they are standard cards. They just don't have faces, right? It's not rough and smooth. It's not long and short. There's no breather crimps, okay? You understand? <laughs> None of that. It's uh, no, 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 no IT. <laughs> Why would there be IT, David? Well, I'm just, I'm just covering all the bases, okay? There's no mirrors, nothing like that, okay? These are, these are, these are cards made out of paper. <laughs> That's it. They're just, it's just blank cards. Um, slights and difficulty level. All right, let's talk. Okay, because uh, Kyle Purnell knows his way around a deck of cards, all right? Um, first of all, it would help if you knew some uh, false cuts. Okay, false cuts would help you. So if you know a couple, that'd be good. Uh, if you know uh, some productions, like a fancy production, like if you knew where the four aces were and you have a way to reveal like all four aces, if you knew something like that, that would help too for your, for your finale. And there is some very easy mental math that you will have to do in your head. How much mental math? Um, nothing, no, no value over, let's say 30. Okay, there wouldn't be, you wouldn't be adding anything up over 30. Okay, so it should be easy into your head, but you have to do it on the fly. Setup and reset, there is a deck stack, but it is very minimal, very minimal and not, uh, not hard to memorize. I mean, it's, it's intuitive. Just looking at the cards, it would be intuitive. You would know how to put it back together. Positives, all right, so what are the positives? Uh, it's a great trick, and it's a great trick that ends with the classic, and every other card is blank, right? I mean, how many of those have you seen where cards are selected, and you're like, and I don't know how you got those because the entire deck was blank. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's a shtick, right? That's, <laughs> that's definitely a, a, a thing that happens in, in the magic world, and so this is a nice alternative, especially for those who enjoy numbers, right? Who enjoy numbers, and also who uh, enjoy playing cards. Uh, you know what just, just occurred to me just now is the Bicycle Special deck, right? The Bicycle Special deck that you can purchase has numbers on it. You can actually go out and buy the Bicycle Special deck and it's just huge numbers. So they wouldn't even be playing cards. If you wanted to do it that way, make it totally obvious, right? One, two, four, people are like, what? You know, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't even know that was coming. So that would be, that would be one option that you could do, so that might be fun. Um, negatives, you know what I'm gonna say, right? Math, math, oh my gosh. Math is my worst subject in school. Uh, I did horrible in school. In high school, I took algebra one and failed. And my counselor said, don't retake it. <laughs> Cause they're like, you're, you're hopeless. <laughs> I took math. I don't even know if this is still, a, I don't even know if this is still a thing. I took math 57 and math 58 in high school. And it was literally like how to balance a checkbook. It was so simple, but that was, I took remedial math in high school. So I'm horrible. I still count on my fingers. Like if you said, what's 12 plus eight, I would sit there and do it on my fingers. I'm that bad. I'm that bad. So um, some of you though, you get it. You're like, you're like Dilbert up here. Like you got it all down. Man, that was an old reference. All right, blank inside, Kyle Purnell, Vanishing Ink. I hope I've answered some questions for you or at least introduced you to a trick that you didn't even know existed. And if that's the case, you can always do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow, hit those buttons down there. That really helps me out a lot. And it helps other people find this channel. I'm trying to help people know more about the latest and greatest and, and you can help, you can help by hitting those buttons down below. And big, huge thanks to Kyle and Vanishing Inc. for allowing me to have this trick so I could do the review for you. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.